Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I am a research scientist in the area of environmental and analytical chemistry and it is currently half past eight and I am at work <laughs> and I've just spent the first five minutes of my day planning out and time blocking exactly what I need to do today. Uh, I'm whispering because I'm in the office and I don't want people to hear me basically. Yeah, I have just planned out my day on my little cute sticky note and we have a very busy day today. So I am vlogging to show you what a very busy day looks like and a very varied day as a research scientist because no two days are the same. But now we are going to jump into the lab because we have a lot of work to do today. On busy lab days like today, I make sure I've got my AirPods charged because I will be listening to a podcast and I am listening at the moment to a podcast called The Very Well Mind Podcast and also Food for Thought. I am really interested in health and well-being and trying to kind of be the healthiest version of ourselves to build mental resilience and that's the types of podcasts I'm listening to at the moment and they are keeping me entertained and they're keeping me focused and motivated while I'm doing my lab work with all my samples. I'll explain to you later what I'm actually doing this week lab work wise but for now I need to go into the lab because we're on a strict schedule today. <laughs> Since they had water in them, I rinsed them out with methanol because the methanol will evaporate much faster than the water will. I put them in the little oven here. Hopefully by the time I do the first six samples, they will be dry because I'm on a strict time limit today. I've got a strict time schedule and this has messed up my plans. I was very tired at the end of the day yesterday and should have checked, but I didn't check because I just wanted to go home because I was super sleepy. Oh, just bashed myself. By the way, can you see how dark it is outside? Right, let's go and weigh the first six salmon samples and spike them and everything. And hopefully those ones are going to dry in time. <laughs>
some more vials to dry. These are from Tuesday's cleanup, but I need to get them all dried by tomorrow. So they are now drying and I need to tidy this up. I need to also dry the vials that are in these baths washing. Oh my gosh, I, uh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and breathe. Honestly, I don't know what has happened this morning. I feel like it has been a little bit hectic and a little bit chaotic because of the situation with not having enough tubes to weigh the samples. <laughs> My timings are completely off. It is, com it is currently quarter to 11. How? I do not know. I would have usually went for a coffee break at 10, but today I wanted to tune into a webinar about EU regulatory requirements for PFAS in food, and I'm working on PFAS at the moment and in food, so it was a webinar I really wanted to attend from 10 to 11. And now I have a meeting at 11. I've got 15 minutes to prepare for this meeting. My samples are shaking. I just feel like I need a moment to breathe. So annoying when you have everything timed to a T and then one thing just throws a spanner in the works. Anyway, I need to prepare for this meeting. I'm having a coffee, a decaf coffee, because we are off of the caffeine, remember? And I'm going to have a snack and I'm going to try and calm down because I feel like I've got that neurotic kind of chaotic energy today and that is not going to make it a successful day if we're a bit chaotic and we can't focus and we are rushing from place to place. I might have to do a five minute meditation. <laughs> this is my snack of choice this morning. A naked bar, cocoa orange, I think it just has a few ingredients like dates, nuts, little natural flavouring. And I'm having my coffee in my ghost mug, even though Halloween was ages ago, but I haven't got a Christmas mug yet. I'm not really in the Christmas zone yet, so we're still going with a Halloween mug. Excuse me if I look like I'm crying, I actually just put eye drops in, so I'm not crying. Just finished my meeting, it was fine, it was all well, I've got stuff to do before a meeting next week, ah, which I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to do that, but hopefully we can do it. Now I need to go back into the lab and continue with the salmon extractions. <laughs> samples already to do the SPE in the afternoon that is going to take like two hours in the afternoon but for now I'm going to go for lunch I'm hungry <laughs> let's go quick coffee break. It's quarter to four. My samples are drying. No, not there. My samples are drying. I have all of my LCMS vials ready to go. The samples which I've already dried, I'm going to add solvent to them, transfer them to the LCMS vials, add the injection internal standard, and I'm trying to just tick off things on my to-do list for tomorrow to make my day easier because I might have some more things to do tomorrow than was originally planned. Hello friends, I have finished work now and I am at home. I finished work at 5pm. I worked later today because I would like to leave early tomorrow and I have a lot of things to do tomorrow so by doing some things on my to-do list today will really help me out tomorrow and will make me more relaxed tomorrow and make me a lot less stressed and rushing about and all that jazz tomorrow. So just to give you a little rundown on what I've actually been doing this week. So everything that you saw lab-wise today is related to a method development that I am doing for a specific method that we want to implement in our lab. And this is the third day of doing all of this lab work. So I'm basically running three batches 
because our SPE system only holds 12 cartridges, which means I can only process 12 samples at a time. And we call that a batch because all of the samples have been treated in the exact same way and they've all been kind of cleaned up together. So there are different stages to method development. So first of all, you want to get the cleanup method up and running. You want to check that your recoveries are looking good. Recoveries are the percentage of the standard spike that you manage to recover after all of the cleanup process. I have explained this a little bit further in, I think it was my previous video, but this week I was actually focusing on matrix linearity. So what this is, is basically we want to see that as the concentration of the analyte you're interested in increases in your sample, the peak area also increases linearly. So imagine you're making a calibration curve and you prepare standards at different concentrations. You want to the response uh, well, of the instrument to be linear for those standards and then you can use your calibration curve to then calculate the concentration that's in your sample. We also want to make sure that in the actual matrix, so in my case, which is salmon, we want to make sure that as the concentration of the analyte increases, the response also increases linearly, much like the standards. And the standards aren't our specific matrix. They're literally just liquid prepared standards. And I am not working with just water. I am working with fish. So I need to make sure that we can see this linear relationship. So basically what I've done is I have over these last three days, I have run three batches just to mean that I have three replicates of every concentration. So this means that I have extra confidence in the results because I am doing three replicates. And basically I had 10 samples of salmon. I spiked each of them with a different concentration to make a nice range. And we will again, just look at the response when I inject them into the LCMS and see if I can make a nice linear curve. I also ran a blank sample as a control, which was just solvent and internal standard. And I also ran an unspiked sample to see if there was any of the analyte in the unspiked sample, but there shouldn't be because I have used this sample before and it can act as like a control. I hope that makes sense. I am quite tired, so I hope I explained that properly. But for now, I'm going to sign off because I've had a very busy day, as you will have seen. I hope you enjoyed getting an insight into some more lab stuff. I don't really film much in the lab these days because there's a lot of people going around and yeah, I don't always have time to set up the camera and get the angles and all that jazz. So I hope you enjoyed this different content today and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!